<laughs> What's up, everybody? It is your boy, Lavon Kaysen, back at it again with another video. And today I am going to be doing a video gameplay commentary of Darksiders 3 on the Xbox Series S through Xbox One backwards compatibility mode. Basically, I am playing the Xbox One version on the Xbox Series S. So, last time that I did a video on Darksiders 3, I did it on the Nintendo Switch, which is another $300 device. And for what the Switch hardware has, you know, it wasn't all that bad looking of a port, you know, Darksiders 3 on the Nintendo Switch. But, you could definitely tell that there were some downgrades. You can definitely tell. So now we're going to be playing Darksiders 3 on another $300 device, which is the Xbox Series S through Xbox One backwards compatibility mode. So basically, I'm running the Xbox One version of Darksiders 3, as you can see here right now. And look at that. Don't this look better than the Nintendo Switch version? Not that this game was a great graphical showcase or anything like that. You know, honestly, I think it looks like a budget game, honestly, but that's just me. I mean, I just beat up that enemy. But you can definitely tell, like, this game looks better on the Xbox One than the Nintendo Switch. Like, there's more textures, there's more detail, like, there's faster loading times. But it's at 900p, not 1080p. But 900p is better than Dynamic 720p. But this game is running at probably... I mean, it's either it's dynamic resolution 900p or just 900p. You know, somebody can correct me in the comments section. Let me, let me beat up this enemy. I just did. Let me jump over here. But graphically, overall, it doesn't look all that bad, but it's not the greatest looking game in the world. Let's swing through here. And let's go and beat up Envy. Our first boss. Haven. A haven for what? Vermin? Humans, mistress. Mm -hmm. Adorable. Build a mm -hmm. house of sticks during the end of the world. Where exactly do we go from here, Watcher? I... I know not... There's the bird the thing. commands, mistress. The quest for the seven begins here. Envy. Mine! Humans! Haven! Everything here! Mine! What the heck are you? What the heck are you talking about? Just shut up and fight! Shut up and fight, bird face! Protecting humans. Humans think creation favors them. They are angels. Just come down here and fight me, Envy. Is that what you want to do? Let's just fight. I feel like Envy is a chaotic evil when it comes to the Dungeon and Dragons character alignment scale. Like... I definitely think that um, Envy's chaotic evil, no more, no less. Humanity is tragically overrated. And I, I think Fury is like chaotic neutral. Yours. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking right now. Oh god. All right, so now I'm at the next phase of the Envy boss fight. All right, so let's go over here. Come on. Let's go up here. Let's swing. Swing with my wit. 
Swing with my whip. Swing with my whip. Swing with my whip. Time to be bird face over here. Two, three, and knock you down. Beat that bird thing. Beat it. Beat the bird. Beat the bird. Beat the bird. Oh, shut up, Envy. Just shut up. Let's go up here. Let's go over here. That's what I meant to say. Go over here. And let's be bird face again. And knock you down, you go. Time to knock out Envy. Knock her. Yes, and I knocked Envy out. You know, when you compare this cutscene to the Switch version, like, like, they both look very similar to each other. The Xbox One version probably has a little bit better resolution, but they look very, they both this look very talisman. similar. It's a vessel. Envy used it to hold energies from the rest of the Seven. It will make a fitting prison for the others once their physical forms have been broken. If I may, there is a... Well, a sort of... I feel like I need to watch that watcher, because I feel like... That she's the main villain of this game. Like, I feel like the watcher has its own agenda. That's what I'm feeling like at this point. Go over here, go B. Let's refill my health. Yeah, this just looks way better than the Switch version. My duties if I didn't point out that even with the talisman, like way better. Sins will prove a challenge. Not that Dark Side of Street was a graphically amazing that looking game. A like Dark Side of Street to me looks average. Twice. Like it definitely and does. When you really think about it. like it's not the, the best looking game of all time or anything like that, but it looks else it looks add? decent enough. Only what I assume you already know. The armies of both heaven and hell have cordoned off the world of man into various areas of influence. Look around us. The upheaval we have seen is the very personification of the struggle between order and chaos. You have set for yourself an unenviable task, given these environments. That's what makes it fun. The other sins are hiding across this shattered world. They strike at angels and demons alike in their own selfish bids for power. Their hubris will lead me right to them. Perhaps, but you will need assistance. Whatever I need, I will take, Watcher. Let's swing over here. There we go. Let's, let's beat up a couple more bad guys. I knew that war would one day unleash all this. But see, his gifts are. Beat up this. Beat up this bad guy. There we 
There we go. Let's beat up a couple more bad guys. There we go. Go. Healing shard. All right, so that's pretty much it. That was Dark Siders Three on the Xbox Series S, running through Xbox One backwards compatibility mode. Overall, it's a better version than the Nintendo Switch. So, yeah. Um, let me know what your guys' experience was like when you played Dark Siders Three on the Xbox One and PS4 and PC when it first came out in 2018. Like, let me know what that experience was like. Let me know if you guys are playing Darksiders 3 on the Switch or next generation consoles. You know, let me know what your experience was like on the PlayStation 5 for Darksiders 3, Xbox Series X for Darksiders 3. Like, let me know ex your experiences. Thank you guys for watching, peace, and I hope you guys have a good day and yeah, bye. So now that you have made it to the end of the video, I want you guys to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and when you hit that notification bell, you gotta hit all notifications, so that way you can be notified for future live on case and tech videos, future live on case and gaming videos, future live on case and live streams, and also other videos that I do, such as, you know, reaction videos and, and things of that nature. Bye.